Hey guys, Stealth here and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Today, Taskmaster Tuesday, we have to execute another interesting task, today set forth by Brother Monroe. The Admiral who stinks the enemy ship with the most points wins. If there is a tie, then it is broken by the Admiral who deals the most damage according to the end battle result screen. Okay, so we need to get points. We can get points by, and I'll put them on the screen right about now, uh, having a displacement of less than 50,000 tons, having a cost of less than 250 million, a speed of 23 knots or less, maximum range, minimum bulkheads, gun length of minus 20%, <laughs> shit, center line, sorry, no center line or super firing turrets. So essentially make a terrible warship, uh, survive, thrive and eliminate the enemy. And the more points you uh, adhere to, the more points you will get at the end of the task. Provided that you sink the target. So you could try all seven. It's probably going to go spectacularly poorly. Or you can go safe and you're going to have uh, potentially fewer points. But um, definitely more of a guaranteed result. I'm going to try and adhere to as many of these as possible. Let's see if that's feasible. I am picking Japan. Uh, the enemy is going to be China 1930. Now, for starters, displacement 50,000 tons. That eliminates quite a few of the battleships already, leaving the experimental battleship, which I think is extremely feasible for this particular job, considering that this thing is going to be experimental. So, 50,000 tons or less. Check. A cost of less than 250 million. All right. A uh, speed of 23 knots or less. 23 knots, maximum range, minimum bulkheads, please no. Minimum bulkheads means that if you take a hit, you're more likely to flood, and the flooding is also more likely to continue. So best not flood. Uh, a gun length of minus 20%, mains only required for this. No center line or super firing turrets. Yes, okay. Um... I have a plan, and if you have seen my videos of the campaign, most notably the Turinja class, you might have an idea what I'm going to do. I'm going to have turrets amidships, which means I'm going to have a tiny citadel. That is the plan. Whether this plan will work, that remains to be seen. Unfortunately, the Japanese have these colossal funnels, which is not very fun. Uh, thankfully, I can probably make use of a very, well, fairly small one anyway. Because with this, I make sure that I have enough room here on the deck for guns. And these cannot be centerline, right? They cannot be centerline, which is rather important. They're going to have to be offset. So side mounts. Um... What if I go with an 18-inch quad turret? Starboard weight offset is actually not even that bad. It's not even that bad. Now this means that my citadel is tiny and I still have 30,000 tons left. So what this means is I can have 20,000 tons of armor. That is a nutty amount of armor. Uh, I also have a cost of less than 250 million, but we're gonna be doing something about that because I still want to upgrade quite a few of these weapon systems. For example, having a stereoscopic rangefinder, having a better radar. Acoustics, I don't care. Um, Citadel would be nice to have. And see, now the cost is ramping up. When it comes to the type of shells... Um, oh, by the way, I have to saw off 20% of my barrels, which is fun. 20% barrel length less. Now, let's say I'm engaging in 15,000 meter range. I'm looking at about 1.8% chance to hit, and that's base stats. If I take 20% off, now I have a 0.4% chance to hit. That is pretty awful. Pretty awful. Hold on, what if I go like this? No? 
No, 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 no. If I put it over there, my citadel extends. I don't want that. Oh, I need to have at least two guns. Oh, no. Put this back. Put this back. Put this. Sit. Sit. Thank you. Uh, rotate. Come on. You know you want to sit. No, it knows it really does not want to sit. Um, can I put my funnel in some sort of unreasonable spot? I don't care if the secondary tower almost falls off the main part, it's fine. Here. Sit. Come on, we can make this work, yes. Yes, yes, we can make this work. Port weight offset 1.2. So this turret actually needs to go a bit further starboard. But I don't really want it to. Some guns have poor fields of fire. You don't say. The whole ship has a poor field of fire. Okay. Now, um, displacement, less than 50,000 tons. Check. Cost, less than 250 million. So far, check. Speed, 23 knots or less. Check. Maximum range, minimum bulkheads. Gun length, minus 20%. Check. And no center line or super firing turrets. Check. So if, if this ship is able to pull off a win, I'm getting seven points. Let's put the rest of our money in defenses. Like all of it. Um... See, I'm not very likely to hit anything at range. So, going for deck armor slash plunging fire, not likely to work. Um, semi armor piercing shells at fairly short range, which is the only place that I'm likely to hit something, will pen 20 inches of armor. That's not enough. Semi ballistic. I'm probably going to go semi ballistic by the time this thing starts shooting. Uh, this is more like it. 5,000 meter range, 36.9 inches. Oh, by the way, and I'm going to change my rangefinder to uh, coincidence, because it has base accuracy instead of long range. I don't really trust long range in this situation. Let's go with the torpedo blister. Um, the propulsion really doesn't matter. I mean, yes, this is going to keep me more maneuverable. It's also going to make the ship a hell of expensive. If I go for oil, it it really doesn't matter. I can just make this work. Let's get the best auxiliary battery or auxiliary engine to make sure the ship can get repaired faster. Um, mm -mm -mm. HE, nose fuse, tube powder, super heavy shells, reload, 68 seconds. That's actually not terrible. Now what I can try and do is make these essentially 19 inch guns, 18.9. And with that, I reload in 81 seconds. Um, now, can I push this forward? I just want to really make sure it turns well. I really hope I can use both of those guns. Otherwise, this is going to get pretty nasty. Anyway, I have about 8,000 tons. And I have about 32 million. I see opportunities to make this thing pretty expensive. Or at least pretty heavily armored. Um, let's see. A wider beam? No, a higher draft means more resistant against flooding. Whoa, that got expensive quick. That got expensive quick. It also means I'm over the allowed displacement. There. 10% more draft. Good lord. You are one tall boy. Muzzle velocity of 434 meters. We're just going to put the shells right on the deck. Oh, that could be interesting means you have an actually pretty damn good chance to pen this. Huh. Okay. So, we're starting at a pretty high range. That means I need to get into range. 
I need to get there. I need to survive long enough. Let's put 8 inch on the fore belt and 8 inch on the aft. Normally I wouldn't do this as much because the Citadel is already heavily armored. This time around I'm changing that plan for the simple reason that I want to try and survive. Right? I want to try and survive. And that means I cannot take that much flooding. Because normally I would just pump the water back out. This time around, no joy. Now there is something that says gun, gun length, minus 20%, mains only required for this. If I put... Oh, holy exploit. Oh, holy exploit. New plan. New plan. Uh, side mounts, please. I need to have main guns. The battleship simply will not depart without it. But, but, the game says, or the, the, min, minimum, the minimum gun length, minus 20%, check. I'm adhering to this point. It is only required for the mains. So now I can put a fuck ton of secondaries on it. I make this thing a fire spewer. And I can make my 8-inch guns probably more effective than the the 9-inchers. I just have to adhere to the rule. No super firing. That's rather important. Okay. And, also, secondaries are not protected by the Citadel. Meaning, I don't have to worry about my Citadel blowing up, essentially. Yeah, I don't care about the 9s. You can just sit there. Right? Because the Citadel is still tiny. The Citadel is still positively tiny. Okay, make this a longer gun. I can now hit out to 22.8 or 21.7. With this, holy moly, 12 kilometers with a 9-inch gun. This thing shoots almost twice as far. What the fuck? Okay. Oh, holy exploit. Uh, no, I mean, this is just creatively interpreting the task. It's not an exploit. It's a plan. Why don't you sit there? Huh? What's the point of this quarter deck anyway? Torpedo launchers. No. Why do you exist? Oh, for a 5-incher. Uh-huh. And 7-inch will also sit there. 6-inch is too big. Whatever. This is fine. Um, if I turn these into semi 8.9s, some parts are badly placed, yes. It goes for most humans too. Let's put this here. No super firing, check. I don't quite like the rotation on these. These fire every 17 seconds out to 22.3 kilometer range. Because that's what I'm going for. We're firing max HE. And we're gonna start a fire. Pickrick. Why Pickrick? Uh, because it has a tendency to blow up violently. More shell fire chance. Also more chance to blow your own ship up. That's fine. Well, it's not fine. It's not ideal, but it gets the job done. If we push these to here. No, that'll not rotate very well. I'm trying to get the 8-inchers, or the 8.9s, to be essentially the best guns on this ship. Oh crap, side mounts. Here. They don't even need to rotate, actually. <laughs> Fine. They don't even need to rotate. Derp. Yeah, these guns have poor fields of fire. No, they don't have a field of fire. None. They just can't shoot. It's really that simple. Okay. Now it's easy. Now you tack on a lot of armor. Like 15 inch to the side of the turret. If the mains get blown up, that's... Mm, not great. But survivable. If they don't flash fire. Um, if these guys get blown up, I'm going to be in much, much bigger trouble. Much bigger trouble. Give me more shells, so we explode more likely. 
and just armor this thing the kingdom come 15 inches of front 15 inches of back 25 inches here main deck nine inches what are you thinking i'm thinking 15 sir six six give me five inch superstructure now we're too expensive uh four four now oh, we're underweight sorry we're under a uh, price tag 20 on the conning I love how Taskmaster makes you do all sorts of crazy shit like this. Now, ideally, I would reduce the beam. I'm just not sure if that's going to be feasible. Because a smaller beam means a lighter ship. It also means a cheaper ship. And a cheaper ship, which has displacement to spare, means a more heavily armored ship. Ah, this is fine. There. So now I can go smaller, 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 smaller. Smaller, smaller, smaller. Yes. Perfection. Okay. So now I have another 20 million. And I can make good use of that. Give me 7 inch here, 7 inch there. Fucking turtle ship this is. Um... Because we get a 140% bonus, so we're looking at, what, 12, 14 inches on the superstructure. That's crazy amounts of armor. But this is even worse, 25 inch plus 140. So we're looking at a protection of about 50 inches, 50, 55, 60-ish. And that's the main belt, so that's that little tiny citadel that we have. Because the 9 inch guns are considered citadel, the everything else? <laughs> Not much. Uh, give me more 4 belt, please. No... That's not more, because I have a weight offset. Pitch is a bit of an issue, but it'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Oh, we're over budget. Here we go. Okay, so I still have 3,000 tons left, but I'm out of money. I am out of money. Okay, once final check. Under uh, displacement, less than 50k. Check. Costs, less than 250 million. Check. Speed, check. Range, check. Minimum bulkheads, check. Minimum gun length, minus 20%. Check. Only goes for the mains. No center line or super firing turrets. Check. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Actually, these are center lines. Can't have that. Does mean I can have this. Does mean I can have this. But, but, that means I'm a bit too expensive. Make this 6 and 6. No. Uh, reduce the f oh four belts. Well, the whole four sections a bit heavy. Um, mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm not really sure I can balance this thing out that well. Thirteen. A bit more on the stern. There, perfectly balanced. What do you mean, pitch and roll are terrible? Okay. Well, this is a battleship unlike you've ever seen before, probably. Now let's see if I can actually sink the enemy. The Ryujo. Here we go. Okay, let's see what the Chinese brought. Where? Oh, it's behind me. How far? 30 clicks. What you got? You got a lot of guns there, that's for sure. Uh, six 15.5s, but looking at the barrel length, I'd say they're going to have pretty shitty range. And then you have a ton of secondaries. It's a modernized dreadnought. Good lord, what you got? Nine fivers, 16 8.7s, and then 16 8.1s, that must be the casemates, but they're all pretty short barrel. So... They probably can't hit me very well either. It doesn't strike me as a ship with a ton of displacement. So, seeing as they put so much into guns, I wonder how much armor they truly have. Range 31, I can shoot out to 22.3, because we're going to be spitting fire at them. The fire-breathing Ryujo. Okay, let's go. Can you hit me? Probably not. There's the 15s, out to 24. Look at these, the 8.1s go to 23. 
That means that their 15s normally would have a lot more range, but they're definitely sawn off. Sorry, sawed off. I mean, they're far shorter than they really should be. Look at this tiny citadel. Look at this tiny citadel. Range, 25.5, 25.4, Oh, hold on. Let me take a picture of this thing before it gets utterly massacred. Battleship unlike any other. Main guns only because dictated. Not because they're going to be actually useful. Fire, the high explosive. 23. Oh, we're getting shot at. Can you hit me? Wow, they can pen me pretty well. Uh oh. <sighs> Parcel pen. Four deck. No, that was the main deck? Really? Chance to hit me, 3%. Chance to hit them, 47%. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay, turn broadside, slow to full speed. And burn this sucker down. Hmm, no fires. I want my money back. Did I put the... No, I did put incendiary shells, which they still haven't changed. It still says incendiary. Okay, identification 34. Why are you not burning? Why are you not turning to... There you go. Fire. Two fires. We're taking some hits. We don't give a shit. Bonk. There. They can hit the superstructure all they want. They can hit my turrets all they want. The superstructure is essentially the only thing that's going to take damage. 48% ID. <laughs> I'm not really sure what I built. It's like a... Battle cruiser ship? Battle I don't know. It's not a battle cruiser, it's not a it's not a heavy cruiser. Um, you guys, in the comments, what sort of ship is this? Like what did I build? Also, just lock onto the target please and start setting fires. None of this range finding shit, you know exactly where they are. There we go. Oh, that was a pretty good hit on me, by the way. 296. Where did that pen me? Hold on. Four deck? Oh, crap. Okay. So, let's angle a little bit more. Well, that's not really going to do much against the deck. Oh, I don't like these amounts of fires. Listen, Sunshine, I am the one that sets fires. I am the one that burns. Oh, if only. In fact, I am the one that burns. And seeing as I don't have any bulkheads, the fire will spread. Ow! Fuck me. What was that? You hit me. Again, the foredeck. Did I really not armor up that well? No, it's six inch. Uh-oh. You can start closing the distance, otherwise... Our citadel is not going to be that effective. Please identify this thing and tell me how much fire it has going on. Tell me. Sixty thousand tons. Sixty-six even. You're a bigger chonker than I expected. Standard bulkheads. Okay. It has a few fires raging. It's not that bad. Um, chance to pen is. Yeah. Pretty atrocious. Your chance to pen me is probably going to go up. No. What's your muzzle velocity? 581 for AP. Oh, I don't like this one bit. Is this going to pen the four deck? No, it's not even going to hit me. Okay. Oh, I'm in a tough spot. I have to angle to keep my armor functioning. And I have to not angle that much... To make sure I get my guns firing. Destroy the secondary. Beautiful. Look at this. The fires are starting to take hold. And the ship has already lost 17% of her crew. 
she should also be taking some damage and stability. Oh, we're destroying one secondary gun after the after the other. <laughs> Can't touch this. Oh, but you can burn this. We're destroying another secondary gun. Oh, this is good. This is good. Keep overwhelming it. Keep setting fires, please. Their crew's down to 28% losses. Can we get this? 30%? Join the barbecue. 31 2. Ryujo is definitely hurting. Just at this range, I don't really care. Because I think that I can overwhelm this ship before it kills me. 800 damage from fires. 33% crew lost. Oh, but I'm flooding. That's bad. You don't want to flood. Ow, ow, ow. 36%. 37. Once we get to 45, they're gone. They surrender. 37. Oh! That was not good. 38. 38, 2. Oh, ding, 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 ding. Off the hull. Come on. Don't ram. Do not ram, Ryujo. 39. 39, 8. I'm flooding. Survive. 40. Oh, no. Shoot to kill. 40.8. 40.9. I think Ryujo is finished. I'm flooding. Oh, no. 41.3, 41.4, 41. Fuck. They killed me. Okay. That was nice. Um, that was zero points. Ah. <sighs> How many crew or mod how many crew did you lose? How much? How much? How much? 59%. Oh, we got to 41. We got so close. So close. I would have loved to take seven points home, but sadly not. So if you guys want to try on, if you guys want to have a try, let me know down below in the comments how you're gonna build that ship. And uh, be sure to check out Brother Monroe and Spartan Elite, because they are the other contestants. They're going to be building ships, and they're going to be trying to get as many points as possible. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you uh, had a laugh at this crazy build that almost worked, but not quite. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon for the next video.